multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, an emerging difficult to treat world health problem, new drugs are desperately needed. Streptococci, a toxin producing common bacterium that can cause life-threatening diseases. Better diagnostics and new drugs can help. Tularemia, a highly infectious bioterrorism threat. A vaccine must be discovered. E. coli, a serious foodborne pathogen we must learn more about and find ways to identify contaminated food sources. Globally, researchers are trying to discover how to stop these infectious diseases and to eradicate them completely. A solution can only be found through research, just as vaccines have already been discovered for polio, smallpox, and measles. The challenge is, if our country is going to lead the way in fighting infectious diseases, we must attack the situation as a nation. That is why the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, part of the National Institutes of Health, is funding the fight. Two requirements are necessary. Highly trained, skilled investigators and safety engineered, highly secured laboratories called Biosafety Level 3 or BSL3 labs. The National Institutes of Health is funding 13 of these BSL3 labs called Regional Biocontainment Labs, or RBLs. On the site of the original Baptist Hospital, in the heart of the Memphis Medical Center, the RBL will anchor the new UT Baptist Research Park. It is the dream of Memphis business leaders and UT Health Science Center researchers, because the RBL safety and security features, combined with world-class research, will attract new biotech businesses to Memphis. While infectious disease research has traditionally been a major strength at the UT Health Science Center, its scientists will now be able to study even more diseases that require federally approved BSL-3 laboratory space. As Dr. Gerald Byrne, principal investigator on the RBL project, points out, The RBL will create virtually endless research opportunities for scientific breakthroughs in the control of infectious diseases. These diseases pose serious health threats for each and every one of us. We're here to help. Serving as a regional resource for researchers from public and private firms, the RBL will spark new economic growth for Memphis and help forge the city's future as a leading bioscience center. The economic impact of the RBL will be felt in several ways. The work done in this new facility will help attract even more top researchers and research grants to the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. And the Memphis BioWorks Foundation sees the RBL as adding greater incentive to bringing new biotech business to the UT Baptist Research Park.